Hi, today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on 3D Double Take. 3D Double Take is a 3D viewport that allows you to view motion capture data. It also has a unique feature that allows you to select your in and out points while calculating the real time cost per move and project. Now go ahead and click File and then Download Take from Modus Digital. We'll supply you with the login credentials whenever you download 3D Double Take, but for now we're just going to log into our demo account. Now that we're in, go ahead and click Ninja Toy 2 and you'll see a list of all the takes from our demonstration. Select a take and click load take and your take will load up for you. You can go ahead and play the animation by hitting the space bar and you'll see Brandon begin his routine. To control the camera in 3D Double Take, it is very similar to a first person shooter. Use the WSAD key to move forward, back, left and right. With the mouse, hold the left click button to move the origin around the space. Hold down the right click button to rotate around the origin. You can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. On the right side you can see a set of controls. Here you can change the marker size, change the marker color, remove or include the floor, include or remove shadows, remove or include the grid, show your camera target, add or remove head models, add or remove head markers, and show marker collision. To set your in and out points, drag the carrot to the frame that you want the take to begin. As you can see here, we're starting with Brendan as soon as he starts his motion. Once you find that point, drag the carrot and that becomes your start point. One other feature of 3D Double Take is if you right click on the carrot, you can enter the exact frame that you want the in or out point to jump to. Now run through the take until he stops. Right there. Alright, so I'll drag this carrot in and that will become the end. Notice how the price changes in real time. Click Save Take and it will give you a summary of how much that take cost. Next we are going to load up a more complex take to show you how to isolate characters. In this take we have two characters, Brendan and Chris, and one prop, a sword. As their routine starts, Chris pulls the sword out of his chest and throws it to the ground. For most of the fight scene, the sword just sits there. About halfway through the routine, Chris jumps at Brendan, Brendan walks back to his position, makes a T-pose, and the scene is over. As you can see, there's a lot of data there that we're capturing from each of the characters that we're not going to be using in the final animation. For instance, when the sword is dropped and it doesn't move, we do not need to capture its motion data. So if we find a point right here where it stops moving, we can drag the endpoint in and just record the data that is actually needed. Now let's do the same thing for Chris. As he runs through, you see him do his routine. But as soon as he jumps off the edge, we're going to set the out point right there. Now let's go to Brendan. Now let's run through real quick because we know what he does. He looks over the edge and goes and makes a T-pose. Hit save take and you can see a summary of the seconds and cost of those characters. Now over here you can see when we take isolation off, that take would have cost about $2,600. Having the ability to isolate brings the cost down to about $1,700. You can now go in here and click summary and see a summary of all the takes that you've chosen and how much each of those takes cost. Now let me show you some of the data we captured during our Ninja Toy 2 demonstration. 